A power drill is one of the most helpful tools you can have. With the change of a bit, you can drill holes, drive screws, stir paint, and a whole lot more. Here's how it works. This part of the drill is called a chuck. These jaws inside the tip hold the bit in place as you loosen or tighten the chuck. A drill with a keyless chuck tightens and loosens by twisting the collar with your hand. It makes changing the bits quick and easy. A keyed chuck requires a key to tighten the bit in place. It holds the bit in place with more force, so this type of drill is usually used on heavier duty jobs. To change the bit, twist the collar to open the jaws wide enough to slide the bit in. Then twist in the opposite direction to tighten it until it stops and clicks. The trigger on the handle is your main control. A variable speed drill lets you start drilling slowly and speed up based on the pressure you put on the trigger. Just like pressing the accelerator on your car. A switch on the handle will change the direction you are drilling. Forward drives the fastener in with a clockwise spin. Set it to reverse to back out the screws, or to back out your bit if it sticks. You may also have a neutral position that locks the trigger. This prevents accidents when you're not using the drill. To drill a hole, place the tip of the bit against the surface. Pull the trigger part way to start drilling, and work up to full speed as you get going, so you don't skip off the surface. Keep forward pressure on the drill. If you need to, press on the back for more leverage. Don't cover the vents or you may overheat the motor. One thing to watch out for is stripping the screw, so remember these tips. When you're driving a long screw or drilling into hard material, first drill a pilot hole using a drill bit a few sizes thinner than your screw. Then drive in your fastener. If you notice the bit starting to spin on the head of the screw, stop. You might need to change to a bit that fits tighter into the head of the screw. The tips are angled differently to grip onto the fastener's heads. And make sure you're holding the drill straight and have enough pressure on as you drive. If that doesn't work, back the screw out while there's still grip left. Once the screw head is stripped, it's tough to get out without using a specialty bit or cutting off the screw. Here's how to use some of the additional features on high quality drills. The barrel of the drill may have a lower high speed gear setting and a numbered dial or clutch behind the chuck to adjust the torque or twisting power. When drilling holes, set the speed switch to high and the clutch in the drilling position, usually indicated with an icon of a drill bit. To drive screws, switch to low speed and use one of the numbered settings on the clutch to control the power behind the twist. At these settings, the driving action stops when you hit a certain amount of resistance. This prevents stripped screws, or lets you drill and drive repeatedly to the same depth. For example, if you're driving screws into drywall, you want to stop before you crush the surface. Use a scrap piece of material, start with a lower number, and adjust the clutch to stop at the right point. The type of drill to use depends on the job. Cordless drills are powered by rechargeable batteries and are handy when you won't be near an outlet. Keep a spare battery charging as you work so you don't have to wait if the battery wears out. Corded drills tend to be a good option when drilling into brick, concrete, or other hard surfaces. You may want both in your toolkit. Volts and amps indicate how powerful the drill is. On a cordless drill, this is expressed by the volts. On a corded drill, look at the amps. A higher number usually means heavier duty and heavier to hold. The chuck also comes in different sizes. A smaller quarter or 3 8 inch chuck is adequate for light duty tasks. They tend to be smaller and lightweight, which is great when you're hanging items like curtain rods so your arms won't tire out. The bigger half inch chuck handles larger bits. Your workhorse for heavy duty jobs like drilling through hard surfaces. They also tend to be heavier and larger. Get more know-how in no time from your Ace Store associate or on acehardware.com.